Hi y'all, today we're going to be looking at the XMG100, what I believe is to be the workhorse of the NSO. Basically, long story short, your XMG100 is your starter option on your NSO Heavy, and it is extremely reliable, it is extremely versatile, and it just works. It's just, it's just a good LMG. <laughs> I could end the video right there. It's extremely reliable, it's extremely versatile, you can make it do pretty much anything you want. Um, the DPS is fine, the magazine size is good, the reload speed is alright, your velocity is good, your hip and aim stats are good, like, it's just a good LMG. And it works. You can throw it up pretty much anything and it just works. So, it is arguably the workhorse of the NSO. You know, if you need a gun to use on NSO and you don't want to drop search one, grab the XMG100, it works for pretty much anything you throw it at. Especially in comparison to the other two factions of the LMGs that kind of blow. <laughs> So, as for the XMG100 itself, it is just, it's just reliable. Uh, your damage, 714 and 143, is not amazing. Like, you're not going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with good players with Orions, Anchors, MSWRs, Carbs. But, it's still a respectable damage model. You gain that signature long damage drop-off that NSO get, where you have 15 meters of max damage range, which is very much appreciated. Uh, 80 round mag is just good. I mean, it's not super big to the point where it's not being useful, like the Carve or the Gauss Saw. But it's still nice to have. Like, you won't ever feel limited by your mag size. Reload speed is okay at 4.9 long, 4.5 short. It's just, you know, it's standard. It's middle of the road, exactly what you'd expect out of an LG housing 80 rounds. Uh, it's accurate so long as you're bursting, which you should be doing anyway, so that's not really a point for it. So it's just, it's just good. You can't really throw it in a situation where it won't be able to at least do something in. It just works. That's all you can really say about it. As for builds, you can honestly go any way you want on it. Uh, I'd recommend running a 1x. You can work a 2, but I personally prefer a 1 because you'll generally be fighting closer range. As for your barrel and your rail, this depends, and even your ammo, this depends on how you're going to want to use your XMG. If you want to primarily use the frame-bound sights, I think the compensator and forward grip is a wonderful choice. If you want to hit fire, you can totally go laser short barrel. Both builds are fine. Uh, your damage still won't be quite enough to like directly compete with Orion's and MSW's, but you know you can make it work. As for your ammo, in this case, you should be picking soft point no matter what. Having 20 meters of max damage range is astounding, and I can't recommend it enough. And besides, it's only 10% velocity loss. It's only 50 meters a second. You can probably compensate that pretty easily, and at the ranges you'll be using it, this thing at, which are generally closer, kind of sub 40, 50, you don't need to really worry about the velocity. High velocity is okay if you're really going to be using it to poke things at long range, but just go for an XMG200 instead, or even like a Naganata at that point. Um, it works, it's just you're probably better off picking soft point in the majority of circumstances. It's just, it's a reliable weapon. The only attachment I would probably stay away from is the extended mag. Um, yes, you get 40 more rounds, but you're not really... It's hard to run dry on the XMG as is. You're better off taking the benefits of a laser or a grip, I find. That is personal opinion. If you like to mag dump a hallway, take the extended. It's entirely your choice. I'm just saying I recommend the forward or the laser. Uh, the flash up is fine if you don't want to commit to a barrel choice. Um... You can still run, like, 3.4s on it and still be okay. Like, you can pretty much run anything on this gun and it will still be okay. Just make sure you run soft point ammo. Soft point ammo is a must-have, honestly. Like, on pretty much any gun that's available to. It's soft point ammo. It just helps you. It doesn't really have a downside. It just helps you. So, into the live gameplay portion, as usual. Uh, it is off hours Connery. It is, like, 3 p.m. of the day, give or take. I am amazed I did not fight, die of fall area. damage there. And it's a lift core central central fight. It's pretty bog standard in off hours. You know, you'll have your middle fight on a continent, so it should be a good representation of what the XMG100 can do. Of course, this gun does work a lot better if you can actually aim, unlike myself. I just burnt 52 rounds on that guy. But, you know, it is what it is, as they say. The biggest thing to keep in mind with the XMG100 is that you do still want to be aiming for heads. I mean, obviously you should be doing this anyway with the Colossal 2x damage multiplier this game has on most weapons. 
but especially so with LMGs that aren't competing with the 750 at 143 damage model. It's good, it's just you really, really want to be aiming for heads. But, you know, you should be doing this anyway, and if you're playing NSO, you probably already have some decent mechanical aim to begin with, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just know that you want to click on heads. Unfortunately, this fight is a little longer range than I would hope for this particular gun, but you know what? We'll make it work. There's a Liberator up there. If that connects, I will be genuinely amazed. I, uh, wow, I actually did affect that when I got the service stair damage tick. Nice. So, the XMG hit fire is fine. Uh, it's good enough to be able to pick the laser. I'm probably going to die of fall damage here. Pain. Uh, the hipfire on this gun is fine. Uh, it's just all right. I mean, it's good enough to justifiably run the laser build. I personally would recommend the down sights build regardless. But you know what? If you want to use the hip build and not incur the equip time penalties of the other options, it is the laser is fine. It's fine. I mean, that's this you're probably rapidly coming to see, but that's kind of the general story with this gun. It just works. You throw it at anything, you put anything on it, it'll still do its job. It is, by all accounts, a jack of all trades. It is probably the most reliable starter weapon on NSO, maybe with the exception of the Air 100. And it's just, it's just good. Like, don't get me wrong, a good player will probably find better use in Orion and MSW, etc. But the XMG 100 for a starter weapon, and for, I would argue, being the best stock LMG NS has to offer, it's a great little weapon. You can't really ask for anything more out of a faction that can get thrown into any situation at any given time. I think that reliability is by far the top, like, like uh, quality to have on any of the MSO guns, because you can get thrown into really anything at any time, because you're always, if you're freelancing, you're always playing for low pot. And having a gun like this that, you know, works in anything you throw it at is great. It's, it's, it's just really good. Unfortunately, this fight is not a very good demonstration of this gun, but you know what? That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just get bad fights in off hours. Ow. This also doesn't help that the Sword Infiltrator is having some really nice positioning. We can't really clear him out. Not really anywhere to demonstrate, unless Genudine Physics offers me a couple of uh, chances to shoot it on him in the head. Which is highly unlikely given the pop disadvantage they're at. There's an infiltrator like literally right in front of me, and I completely fail to see him. Yeah. Looks like we might be starting to fight back. This actually might be a pretty good little fight to demonstrate this gun. We can still win this. Really, the key thing I can say about the XMG 100 is expect it to work, don't expect it to pull miracles. It is super reliable, it is super consistent. But it's probably not going to surprise you like some other guns will. I am so dead. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Don't do that. You can't take those kind of close quarters like rushes like you might be able to do with some other LMGs. That, that was foolish. I will fully admit to that being stupid. I will fully admit to that being stupid. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a good, it's just a good gun. Um, it's just a little unfortunate that NSO don't have any options available, so a lot of the times, unless you're going for Gillelay, there are good odds you will probably only be using the 15M in XFG 100 on this match. Oh, that's two max units, just what I needed. Wow, I really ran myself into death there. Quite the DS Zerg, but it is off hours, so you know what, it is what it is. As they say in Rome, it is what it is. How did I. Wasn't I inside the spawn shield there? I mean, I immediately got dropped by an 11 C, but I, I thought. I could have thought that grenade was somewhere else. Wow, I'm really bad right now. <laughs> Probably would help if I didn't pick arguably the worst fight on the continent, but here we are. No, I went looking for something to show you how this gun would do. And unfortunately, this was not the fight to do it in. So, 
So, I don't really have a whole lot else to say on the XMG100, really. It's it's not like, say, the CB100, where there's enough wacky things going on with its design that I can kind of, you know, talk about that gun. It's just... It's a lot like the 15M, where how do you talk about this thing? It is reliable. It will do exactly what you want. It is exactly what you expect. It is exactly what you want out of a starter weapon. It is exactly what you need out of a starter weapon. So, like... What's there to say on it? It's good. It's a great introductory LMG. Uh, it's probably the most well-rounded starter NS weapon. Uh, if you're trying to get into playing NS, I would probably start on heavy for that reason. But if you're trying to get into playing NS, or you know you 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 want to play NS, you probably don't need my advice. So like, it's really not a whole lot to say on this thing, man. I can't say much without repeating myself. I'm sure I'm already repeating myself a bunch right now. Alas, it is what it is. Only real problem I could say with the XMG100 is that the reload can feel a little punishing. Uh, like, it's not super long, but it is definitely on the longer side at 4.5 seconds. It's not like a Gauss saw where, you know, you're literally just sitting there waiting. But if you have to reload and you're not in a favorable spot, you will probably get caught up. Fortunately, as a heavy, you should have ample time to re-secure yourself and get to a better position. But it's still something to be aware of. And for that reason, the extended mag still might be a decent pick. I just wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Death. You know, it's just it's just a good gun. I mean, it's reliable. You can hold points with it. You can assault points with it. And uh, I think it's an excellent stepping stone to its directive variants, the Gilliland. It's just it's just a good gun. It does. There's not many starter weapons in this game that are truly great for, like, say, a new player, and this is one of them. It's just good. I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm just talking as I play with this thing. Ow. Damn, max units. Hmm. Well, that kind of killed all the fights. Oh, never mind. We got a center. I have to assume we're on the losing end of this fight, so... But, as they say, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the end of that fight. Alright, cool. Oh, am I getting revived? Hey, let's go. Thank you, my GR medic. I'm not sure what I was doing there. I just ran directly to that max suit. Oh, and then I got shot in the head by a real jack. Yeah, that would do it. All right. Uh, well, the fight just died, so <laughs> it's probably a good place to call it. I've said all I can really say on this thing. Uh, short little version. It's just a good LMG. You can throw pretty much anything you want at it. You can throw it at any situation. It just works. You know what? It just works. It is the Todd Howard, the Skyrim of Planet Side 2. So, thank you all. <laughs> I will see you another time.